Voice of the Sea, learning from experts across the ocean. Welcome to Voice of the Sea. This time on Voice of the Sea, we're at the SOAS Biannual Open House. Can you explain to us what LIDAR is? Yeah, so simply LIDAR is, uh, which it stands for Light Detection and Ranging. And basically what it is, is it's just a laser unit that sends out uh, a laser pulse a few thousand times a second. Uh -huh. And with that, um, knowing the speed of light and the time it takes for the laser light to go to an object, bounce off of it, reflect back to the machine, you can figure out how far away that, that point is. Uh -huh. So with that, you can make these very detailed three-dimensional distance maps of, uh, of anything you really want. So we use it up at Waimea Bay and at Waikiki Beach to uh, make maps of the beach and uh -huh. see how the waves change the shape of the beach over time. We're actually looking at very short-term changes. So we're looking at wave to wave, how each wave affected the beach. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. so cool. And you have here a setup where we can actually demonstrate that? So we're just using the, la the, the LiDAR here um, to, to make maps of the kids while they sit on the bench. Yeah. So, so can you make a map of me? Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. So hold it. Right now it's shooting the laser at you uh, a couple thousand times a second and making the map of you. So the, here's the three-dimensional point cloud. So it got stuff behind you too, but you can kind of see you up here. So, oops, let's see. Oh, whoa. So here's the point cloud, and you can see, you can kind of see your shotgun, it's, it's kind of a crude map. But you can see how, uh, with this, we can get these, these 3D maps and see exactly how far things are. Given a surf report, can we, can we uh, predict how the beach shape will change in case there's uh, erosion or, or um, landscape change. So here's your map of yourself there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> and can you um, explain to me a little bit about the LiDAR machine itself? Sure, well yeah, the, um, right here we actually just have a regular uh, camera that, that takes an image of you so you know where you're looking at. And then you, you create um, a box around the area that you really want to scan. And the laser's in here, um, in, in this, this section, and it and it's a uh, basically controlled by a very small motor that can um, precisely uh, change its position. So it just shoots one laser dot out, but then it scans along um, the entire length of the area that you want um, in very, very uh, minute changes in, in distance. Yeah. How did you get interested in studying LiDAR or even beach topography? Um, well, I love the beach, uh, surfer. Uh, so actually, when I, I was applying for the master's program here in ocean engineering. And when I applied for it, uh, I think my advisor needed a graduate student. So he called me up and told me that he was doing research at Waimea Beach and I would be going out there to take scans of the beach and we'd be uh, you know, investigating the underlying physics behind beach change and, and waves basically. And I was thinking big waves can actually build the beach back up too. So which doesn't really make sense intuitively. So I think that's why we're trying to investigate that. We don't know exactly w at what point it starts to do that, but sort of interesting. Certainly when we're up there, they're very interested. Everybody that passes by um, when we're up on the side of the road wants to know what's going on and they think it's cool. So everybody's interested. Well, yeah. I'm going to check back and we'll do, maybe yeah. come check you out in my Yeah, I'll be up there. I'll be up there. One of the big swells. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. The Curriculum Research and Development Group in the College of Education at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. CRDG's training routes go back over 40 years through professional development programs, curriculum workshops, research on teaching methodology, individualized school and district training, and so much more. The Curriculum Research and Development Group, improving schools, improving education. CRDG. NOAA Pacific Services Center, linking people to information and technology. The Pacific Services Center wants you to be prepared for any weather emergency and know your tsunami risk. NOAA Pacific Services Center, enriching life through science, service, and stewardship. 
Exploring Our Fluid Earth is the dynamic curriculum developed by the University of Hawaii's Curriculum Research and Development Group. The award-winning Fluid Earth and Living Ocean textbooks are now interactive and online. New activities, updated content, and a teacher community. Exploring Our Fluid Earth is now freely available. Find out more at exploringourfluidearth.org. The University of Hawaii Sea Grant College Program. Helping coastal communities of Hawaii and the Pacific. Through research, education, and outreach. Serving the community, from elementary to graduate students. Hawaii Sea Grant.